are so many tournaments, and also it's more important. They have to act professionally. They have to get fit and wash their diet. It's very important. As you say, it's, it's a nice problem to have, and we've seen this in tennis. We've seen it in golf, where sportsmen and women have to structure their season in order to be able to peak for something. It's a really difficult art to be able to master. Steve. Yes, and I think for the World Championship, you have to psych yourself up more so uh, and be, be prepared more so uh, for, for the onslaught that is a two-week event than the, than the other events. And from that perspective, I think it does require a little bit more preparation. And if there are tournaments backed right up to it, then that is a bit of a problem. Yeah. What does happen is, you know, those interviews we've seen from the players, they've gone straight off the, off, after losing, they've gone straight into the room. They're trying to work out why it didn't work for them on the, on the night, on the day. They're trying to come up with an idea. They're looking for some reason oh, why it didn't work this time. So obviously they will look at the things and analyse every part. If you ask them in a couple of months' time, was that the reason? They may still say yes, because it may still they may still feel like they do need more time for the big events. But who knows? The, the winners don't say that. It's quite fascinating at Panda. Burnout. Barry Hawkins is playing his 101st match yeah. of the season more than anybody. A lot of individuals, some will find it tough and some won't, and the travel will get to some people and won't be others. But the thing with the nature of the <laughs> event is the hardest way to win. It comes